What is going on, lovely people? Hashtag ATN Squad. Welcome back to Hashtag ATN Central. It's your girl, All Things Nell, or you can call me Nelly. That's what my family calls me. So welcome back, and this is my reaction recap for the have and the have nots. You probably already see my previous video. I was so lit. We waited weeks for this episode to come out. Like literally, what did we wait? Like four weeks a month? I can't remember. Anyway, it was too long. Um, I would. I was so excited about this episode, and it wasn't as good as I was hoping it would be. The best part about the episode was Hannah and Ronica arguing. And I mean, um, what Veronica say, a Christian that cuss. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Y'all know your girl don't condone violence, but this is a show. It's not real life. So I can, I'm free to say how I feel and how, what I wish Hannah would have done. And at this point, Hannah, it's time. If you're going to cuss, then you should have popped Veronica in her face because see, it's time for Veronica to go on and get this hood but butt whooping somebody gonna have to go on and deliver it to her this was i mean like i said this was the best part of the entire show i was so hoping that they was gonna be able to say melissa and she was gonna be able to carry on and go on about her business i hate that they killed her off her character was really just coming into shape coming into form and i was just looking forward to seeing hannah nurture her and help her be a positive beautiful person and we really need it. And I'm going to be honest with you, with everything going on in the world, we really needed that. We really needed to see that. We needed people to, to her age to see that. Because for some people, reason, people relate to characters on TV. And I feel like if that would have happened, it would have gave more people her, her age hope. But anyway, it didn't. It is what it is. Let's see, outside of that, some other things that happened was when she jumped off the roof, and, I, you know, I didn't do a review for that episode, but I'm going to say it now. When she jumped, it was three people there. If Veronica wanted that baby that bad, Hannah cared, and the man that was there, if they all cared about her well-being, did nobody try to break a fall, y'all only would have got a few uh, bumps and knocks, maybe a break, a little breakage, but it was worth the life. Y'all couldn't jump in. It was three of y'all. Y'all couldn't jump in and break break, break the girl fall. Man, where they do that at? I, don't answer that because we already know because this is America. So anyway... The psychiatrist, I wanted the psychiatrist to see that Veronica is the one with the problem. She was the one crazy. She, she needed to be charged. She the one that pushed her to jump in. It wasn't Hannah's fault. It was Veronica's fault. She the crazy one. Then, too, I wondered, like, when Veronica left, she has a habit of sitting in her car, being on the phone, looking and lurking. I wonder if she seen, um, Derek and Hannah kiss after she left. Because once she see that, she going to do whatever she can to try to destroy Derek. And she also going to let Hannah know that she been with him, which would mess up. I hope it don't mess up her and Derek. Because I, I still got to wait and see if he got this lion tattoo is what I'm waiting on to see. So, anyway, I'm glad he happened to show up at her time of need, even though she didn't know he was coming over or whatnot and what have you. And I'm going to circle back around to this toward the end. Well, hell, I'm just going to go on and say it now. At the end of the show, um, Candace has the dude to uh, manhandle. She's going to have dude to manhandle um, Hannah. And Candace care about her mama because she don't want her mama hurt. She don't want her mama killed, but she just wants to get a message across to get this money. And I believe Derek going to come in because, you know, he said he was coming back after he got an air conditioning unit fixed. So I'm wondering if he going to come come back, bust up in the mother, mm -hmm, like he, like Eddie Murphy said on life, and manhandle this dude and save Hannah and all this be a damsel in distress. I wonder if they going to get into a fight. This one, his shirt going to get ripped. She going to see the 
man with the lion tattoo. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm just speculating here, throwing it out there, because this is a TV show. Anything can happen. But anyway, we'll have to see. Who knows? So Mitch now knows that Benny didn't try to kill his uncle Benny, like he said. So he's trying to call Benny on the phone, want to holler at him, what not, or what have you. And I'm glad that he finally knows, because one thing about Benny, he may be on on this uh, lane road right now that Tyler Perry has him on, but he ain't been all that big about lying. And Benny and and Mitch should know that that he wouldn't kill um, just randomly went and killed somebody especially over no money he know Hannah raised him better than that this whole situation with Jill having Benny occupied just shows how weak and simple-minded Benny is and how they have his character and I really don't like his character being like that because I mean but he is a man he's single and she is pretty and but he didn't even think twice about it. he just so naive and just but that's a man for you Nowadays, women too. But anyway, he she had no problem keeping him occupied. I'm thinking to myself, if you boy, you lay down with her. You, what did GM say to Hannah? I mean, he like Candace at this point. He might as well be charging for his services if he's just gonna be getting around like he's getting around. So I don't. Mm. So. We'll see. So this situation with Catherine and Jim arguing about why they going back and forth with why and Jim talking to her like however like Catherine said you don't have no pool no more you lost that pool after you ran for governor please have several rows of pews and seats because you not even that man anymore you just a regular average day bear you can't even be out here but like you pulling the shots like that talking trying to talk it like you walking because you ain't about ish now shut up so when hannah walked in just take her key and walk in have you i thought she had certain hours that she coming but no honey hannah got her key she come and go when she want to she she over the all the maids she's the head maid in charge she just come and feel like it and you know what i was expecting for Catherine. To just give Hannah the money for all her pain and suffering for everything that they done done to Benjamin. I was expecting her to just say, Hannah, darling, why don't you keep the money? Right there in front of Jim. But, you know, of course she didn't. I'm going to tell you something. I told y'all in my other review, y'all better be subscribed so y'all can catch this tea now, that Benjamin, why didn't he just go to the bank and write Candace the check? Give, give her the check. She done worked hard, nearly died, did everything she could for the money. Write her a check for this money and give her this money. Because I'm going to tell you, now here, here's Catherine, I mean, Hannah, time out, she going to write her little check, the check or whatever money order type deal situation she is back to Catherine or whatever she is. I think it was a check, though. Cash, I don't know. She said cash. I can't even remember what the crap she said, but some kind of check back to uh Catherine to get him the money back. Jim ain't ish how he was talking to Hannah. I mean, he is so sorry at this point. Why is he still bumming off Catherine that he obviously don't love and he obviously went for the for the money? If she don't put put him on that, she can buy uh get her boy toy and be a sugar mom and have more respect and more appreciation than what um Jim giving her. So she need to let him just go on and bounce because this. It's just, I don't know. It's been a much. This just, ugh. it's just been just. I don't know. I'm over it. Um, but I still hope when they get out of there with Jim, she give the money to Catherine and at least some of the money. And I think she gonna get Cat. Um, what's her name? Hannah. Some of the money. If she live through the night, cause they, they finna go here and manhandle her. But anyway, Wyatt thought he could cop a deal with the DA and get out. He gonna, <laughs> he gonna say, man, get me out of here. Get me out of here with his fiending for some drugs type of stuff. And the DA, he just like, um, no, we need you to testify against your parents 
and but you can't get out because of what you did. What do you mean? What you, he he just so lost and confused because he that spoiled and that sh- selfish, and he's so used to money uh, talking for him and his parents getting him out of everything, and he was ready to turn him in and uh, be all responsible for running over Benjamin and killing the little girl. And now all of a sudden he passed that he want to be back to being a rich boy. He don't want to be a responsible adult anymore he just want to keep destroying lives and whatnot and now he having to face the fact then he ain't gonna testify against his parents unless he can get out and the da said you know what he he just fed up now because he just knew he had catherine and jim just on a platter and he was finna put them away and boost his career and so he gonna tell why well that's fine you could be charged with both because, you know, Jennifer Sellison, she dead now, so they take all deals off the table. But anyway, I'm like, you silly rabbit, trickster for kids. That little mess you trying to pull with this DA ain't going to work. So, we get down here to the end. Like I said, it was really only the two best things that happened in this show was Veronica and Hannah arguing and the very end which was the situation to, that we found out about erica and david honey mr perry made sure that he pushed the point home that erica won't be returning because dang he showed her pride in place up in the car i was not expecting to see that i don't know what i expected to see i think she's gonna be blue to smithereens first i was I, I just don't know what i was expecting to see I, that gruesome horrific scene was not one of them um, she looked like post something from the mummy returns, re- returns. I was tra- traumatized. I just wasn't ready because I love me some Erica. And like y'all already know, I wanted her to stay on the show. I want her to have David's baby. And like I said, I think they're going to find out that she was pregnant, that she is pregnant with child and all of that kind of stuff. Of course, they go over there. David got burns. Like I told y'all in my last review, he going to be either at the burn center or somewhere or in the hospital, and Veronica gonna think he dead, but he ain't gonna be dead. I hope <laughs> he get Jeffrey gets him and care to some kind of safe facility that's safe away from his mama, where he don't know. But let me tell you this: my personal opinion is when Jeffrey find out that something happened to his daddy, he already warned his mama and told his mama, you remember that state night? I won't miss next time. I'm going to tell you now, she better hope Justin be with him. Then I don't know because Justin probably going to help him. He going to F his mama up. Veronica going to catch it. She think she going to run call him talking about Jeffrey. Jeffrey, call me. It's important. It's urgent. You think Jeffrey going to care about Melissa and this baby? He didn't care when she was alive. He sure ain't going to care now that it's all done and over. She don't have nothing else to hang over Jeffrey's head anymore. With, um, but I think he going to go out. I think he going to, I mean, man, oh, man. I really do. I think he going to mess up when David do get his right mind back. And I think it's going to be a lot wrong with David. I think David going to be having some, like, amnesia or something. He ain't, he ain't gonna remember it. It's a little bit, a bit of that been mentioned. I, I do think, um, Jeffrey gonna have a hard time with this situation with his parents because he gonna be trying to get his daddy to remember. But anyway, that's all my review. Um, hope y'all enjoyed this background. I got on my PJs. I did not feel like getting dressed. And in order to do these reviews, these reviews take a lot of time. And so the easiest way, way to do it is just simply talk about it, record it, instead of trying to worry about doing all this, you know, put on a little pat on your face and do your lips and comb your hair. I, If I got to do all of that and try to sit up to record, these reviews will never get done. So this is what you're going to have to take and accept. I'm sorry I don't have my lively miss going on but anyway i thank you guys for listening and i hope y'all have a good night and i will catch y'all for the next episode i had some requests to redo some other show reviews and i'm going to look into doing them and i'm glad i just appreciate y'all actually missing them because i to me nobody was really watching them enough for me to keep doing them so anyway i appreciate you and i will catch y'all in the next video hugs and kisses to be me, lost, mud bugs, hoes, beauty, 
weight loss, reactions, unboxing, prior, prior reviews, random chit chat, DIY, whatever my manic depresses my legs on. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. <laughs>